So what does wide sense stationary mean for a random process? And I've drawn two examples of random processes here. Uh, this one, for example, it could be the temperature measured throughout the day. And here we see at night it's cooler and it gets warmer during the day and cooler at night and warmer during the day and so on. Uh, but it is random. Uh, and another process here, this one could be the noise in a digital receiver, in the amplifier of a digital receiver, for example. And uh, this one it looks like uh, we would generally say it looks uh, stationary. And this one we would say does not look stationary. Just intuitively, uh, there are times when the you'd expect to see higher values and other times when you would expect to see lower values. Uh, so what does what does it mean to say that some that a random process is stationary or not stationary? How do we define that? Well, the, we have a concept called wide sense stationary. So there, there is a concept called strict sense stationary, and that says that all the finite order distributions are time invariant. And you can see this distribution is not time invariant. So that the distribution at this time would be would have a mean up here on during the day, and a distribution at this time at night would have a different mean, a lower mean. And so this one clearly has a different distribution at different times of the day and night. And whereas this one, you could imagine all of these samples might have been drawn from the same distribution no matter what the time. Okay, and strict sense stationary says that all of the finite order distribution, so not just the mean, not just the variance, uh, all of the different order um, distributions are time invariant. Um, but that's, very, that's the strict sense stationary. So what do we mean by wide sense stationary? Well, in this case, the mean and the, var the autocorrelation are time invariant. That's what we mean by wide sense stationary. So wide sense stationary implies the mean and the autocorrelation are, um, just writing it out here, uh, are time invariant. So what do we mean by that um, and what does it mean for us? Okay, so the mean and the autocorrelation. Okay, so this is in, in mathematical terms, of course, and there's more information on other videos on what is a random variable and what is a random process, if you check out the links below this video. Uh, but the mean means that the random process, which we would uh, typically use x of t to represent, this is one version of x of t, where x is the temperature. This is another version of x of t, where it's the thermal noise. And the expected value of x of t equals a constant. Uh, this is one example uh, where it's time invariant. Okay, so this does not depend on time. This is the technical mathematical definition. Uh, the autocorrelation function, uh, which is uh, defined uh, or using this notation here, um, Rx of time one and time two, uh, this is only a function of the time difference where tor equals T2 minus T1. Okay, so this is the other part, this is the autocorrelation, what we mean in mathematics. It means that it only depends on the difference between the two times. It doesn't depend on actually what T2 and T1 are. It only depends on the difference between them. Uh, so if you have a, a mean that's, that doesn't depend on time and a, an autocorrelation that only depends on the time difference, then you have wide sense stationary. And so what are some examples of this? Well, let's just think about it. Uh, one of the most common uh, examples, and, and this is this example over here with uh, thermal noise, uh, where it's, um, so it's a Gaussian random process. So if it's a Gaussian random process, the Gaussian random variable is defined by the mean and the variance. So they define the Gaussian random variable. All the other moments are functions of the mean and the variance. So this implies that all Gaussian random processes are wide sense stationary. Okay. Other pro so that's one interesting uh, result to, to remember. Um, other processes that are not wide sense stationary are random walks and Poisson processes, for example. And then finally, two other uh, things that are useful for wide sense stationary um, uh, 
processes. So once we establish something as wide sense stationary, uh, then we know that we can prove that the autocorrelation function, the magnitude of the autocorrelation function, is always less than or equal to its value at a zero delay. So when tor equals zero, when the difference between the two times is zero, uh, then the autocorrelation is the maximum. There might be other tors where it equals the same, but it's never greater than r of zero, rx of zero. So that's one interesting uh, and useful property. Another one is that the uh, power spectral density is equal to the Fourier transform of the autocorrelation function. And this is a very useful property, uh, especially when we're looking in the spectrum uh, and they've been talking about things that have bandwidths and noise powers and so on and digital communications as one example. Okay, so these are two properties that follow from wide sense stationary. So hopefully this has given you more insights into wide sense stationary and random processes. Uh, if it has, please give it a thumbs up, it helps others to find the video. Um, Subscribe to the channel for more videos and check out the web page in the information below where there's a complete list of all the videos on the channel.